Hi, Hamish Conway here from Cell Global. Now when it comes to Amazon Australia, there's a term called FBA, and people go, well, what is FBA? So FBA is fulfilled by Amazon, and this is where, as a seller, you send your products into Amazon's warehouses in Melbourne and Sydney, and then when a sale is made, they will pick it, pack it, and ship it to the end consumer. It's an amazing thing that can really help you simplify your logistics and the whole supply chain. So the other alternative you have, instead of FBA, is FBM, which means fulfilled by merchant. And this is when a sale is made that you fulfill it yourself out of existing inventory and using your existing freight partners. Now, why would you want to consider using FBA versus FBM? Like, what are the pros and cons with that? So first of all, with FBA, fulfilled by Amazon, there is a definite algorithm benefit. Amazon wants to promote your product because they're going to make the money on the fulfillment as well. Conveniently, a helicopter flying over above. It's not a drone that Amazon's using to deliver your product. <laughs> so anyway, fulfilled by Amazon, it's got the algorithm benefit. Two, it's hands off. You don't need to worry about it. Once it's in there, it gets taken care of, including the customer service around, around the fulfillment. And also, Amazon Prime members, they get free two-day shipping only on Prime eligible products, which are in the FBA warehouses. In the USA, this is a huge deal, and that'll start to happen also here in Australia and, and uh, New Zealand when it moves to New Zealand as well. So there's that benefit. Now, why you wouldn't use FBA is when you have a product that doesn't really suit the FBA model in terms of the dimensional weights, where it might be a bigger or heavier type product, so you would use your own fulfillment. But also early on, it can make sense to just use FBM to just test the market. If you start, you don't need to commit inventory to Amazon, you can just go with um, FBM and just fulfill it as it happens. It will suppress your conversion rates, but it is a good way to test the market to see which ones you then should commit stock to Amazon FBA. So hopefully that helps you understand FBA, fulfilled by Amazon, versus FBM, fulfilled by merchant. And my suggestion is use FBA where you can on your best selling products, the ones you know are going to move. For FBM, that's really where you're going to be testing the market. You're not too disadvantaged in Australia at the moment, but certainly in the USA, you would you just use FBA, FBA. If you're shipping from this part of the world, FBA is where it's at. Excellent. Thanks very much, folks. Hope you found that useful and connect with Cell Global. All the best.